May the name of the Lord be praised God now and forevermore. Amen. My dear friends in Christ, I wish you a Merry Christmas. Today being the 17th day of December, we move into the second part of Advent where we begin to emphasize on the birth of Jesus Christ at Christmas. You know, like I said, even though things are difficult, but the birthday of Christ has to be celebrated. We have to thank God for life. We have to continue to pray and hope that things will be better in 2021. So I just say, let me seize this opportunity to say to all my friends, all my brothers and sisters, all my parishioners, a Merry Christmas. I pray that God will keep us alive to celebrate this 2020 Christmas. I pray that good things would happen. Don't give up yet. Something good can still happen to you. Maybe somebody made a promise to you. Don't give up. A person may still fulfill that promise. But the most important thing is that we have to cut our coat according to our sizes. The little we have, we have to celebrate. You know, you mustn't have new things. And, you know, this cardigan was given to me by a friend last year. It came after Christmas and I have to keep it. And behold, there's another Christmas here. I didn't use it last year because it came late. But this year, I'm using it. You know, so if you're not able to celebrate this year, it doesn't mean you won't celebrate next year. If things are not too well with you this year, it doesn't mean this is the last Christmas in your life by God's grace. So we celebrate the much we can, the little we can, and give glory to God. But the most important thing we have to celebrate is not just the birth of Jesus Christ, but our own birth. The fact that we are alive, we thank God, we join Jesus Christ, our Savior, to celebrate the birthday. And so I wish you happy birthday and God's blessings in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.